Welcome to the latest installment of New to the Street, live from the iconic New York Stock Exchange. I'm your host, Janet Alvarez, joined today with a very special guest, the CEO of Data Vault, Nathaniel Bradley. Nate, welcome to the show. And thank you for having me. Nate, for our audience who's still familiarizing itself with Data Vault, tell us a little bit about what your company does and the technology behind it. Yeah, sure. So Data Vault AI, uh, we're a company that specializes in making uh, a value layer uh, appear around data. If you think about what Zillow did to real estate, we did that to uh, data. Uh, we allow companies to see how much their data is worth, where it resides, how much they create, and we've entered a new format of data where video and telecom and other non-traditional data sets can now be understood in their value. And then lastly, we created a system that allows that data to be monetized. Uh, we built an exchange. Uh, as, as we call it the Information Data Exchange. And that allows us to convert data to cash, moving what was a cost center into a center of value and revenue generation. Um, so we're able to see the value of data and we convert it to cash. Ultimately, that's what our company does. And Data Vault has been busy of late. You've developed some new technologies, Adio and others. Tell us about these new technologies and what they accomplished. We have, and we went public um, through an asset acquisition where we were purchased by a company that had enormous patent portfolio in acoustics. Uh, we've made a partnership with Dolby uh, around the licensing uh, of our technology, and we have a system in place where we're monetizing that uh, HD uh, high quality audio transmission technology in very specific modules. We've added it to Data Vault to allow like sonar for us to use acoustic technology to both collect and uh, discover data all around us. And it, we use data to mark physical things so we can make a physical object be tracked in the virtual world. Uh, we can also uh, allow the virtual world to be more trusted because it's anchored to physical things and real world things. So how much gold do you have in the vault? If someone moves some out and, and you want to know that number, we have a tracking mechanism that can kind of show you that. Now we've done that to data and we've allowed data now to have an acoustic marker or a watermark that allows us to see where it moves. We have server side listening and real world listening and the ability to transmit audio, uh, but transmit data over sounds. And this becomes a, a utility that we add and it's special for our company, uh, dominance in it, the acoustic space and the use of audio in new ways to collect data on behalf of our customers. And you've also been busy with acquisitions, Comfy Systems. Tell us about that deal and what it represents for yeah, your future. So Comfy Systems allows us to take our audio and data vault technology into a 50 year old event company. Uh, we've now, within the acquisition, now we've looked at this company to where we can take our Web3 technologies and take, and not an antiquated company, but a company that was very competitive in Web2, uh, one of the leaders in event registration technology, but adding Web3 and moving, you know, for example, registration to robotic means, moving holograms into the, into the service sector, moving things that are Web3 into Web2 to increase their valuation and the, the ability to monetize at a higher level these events. So we bought an event company that does 1,100 events, has wow. awesome contracts all over the, all over the world in fact. Okay. And we're able to in inject our technology and use our sonic tones to connect to consumers in a way that allows them to do registration, wayfinding, coupons, and different connections that allow the Data Vault to become more powerful. Now, connections, incredibly important to Data Vault AI. You have a number of very important partnerships. Tell us about those partnerships, what they mean for your business. Yeah, so we've made some enormous strides there. Uh, NIAX Corporation, which is part of the NASDAQ uh, infrastructure, they have a, the NASDAQ financial framework. We've added that to our information data exchange. We wanted a trusted partner, a worldwide brand that's trusted for trading to be associated to the data vault. So we've added that NASDAQ infrastructure. Um, we've also created a system that allows us to partner with a number of content providers. So we've made some key partnerships, one with the NFL. So with the NFL Alumni Association, we're, we're able to connect using our tones within these venues and environments, but we're also able to use a data vault to show owners and show players and show stakeholders a new value set around the game. And everything from concession sales, food and beverage, 
um, all the things that you can do within a venue, we've, we've maximized the use of Databall to use AI to help us decide what will be the best way to engage with clientele and increase the fan experience in the NFL. You also have a focus on sustainability. Tell us how that's manifesting at Data Vault. We do, and we have, uh, we've been working very hard on an elements exchange, uh, the ability to take things like geothermal and other uh, green technologies and move them into the tokenomic Web3 sector. Uh, we, we have a system that allows for miners to take unearthed or precious metals and uh, rare earth and move that mining material into uh, a financial production before it goes into physical mining production. So under earth assets being monetized in token form, like a future was uh, monetized in the past, we're able to tokenize a real asset under earth in a token form. And so that, that is one of the sustainable efforts that we have underway. And we've been working on several others where we have an impact on our, on our environment through these technologies, which are reductive in uh, some of the carbon uh, fuel uh, uh, scenarios, well, we're able to take a uh, approach to work with Brookhaven National Laboratories and identify plants that have uh, particular attributes, ability to create biofuels and other things. So we've been working in science and other areas to perfect the data vault to affect specific things that we care about, our environment, our, 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 our society, uh, everywhere we can have impact we're looking to make. Nathaniel, congratulations on all of these remarkable developments for Data Vault. What's next? What excites you about the future of Data Vault? You know, um, we're doing a lot of work in holographics. Uh, when you talk about data perception and the use of these data vaults and the power of uh, perceiving the data that you collect. So even in your own personal life, you know that you have a cloud of, of systems that are your banking, your entertainment and other aspects. When you get to work, it's a whole nother set of cloud. And there's on-prem, we, we all deal with safety and security, our ring cameras and all these in, internal and external feeds into our lives, into our businesses. And we have a system that's exciting in that we help people perceive the value of that data. We help them see it maybe for the first time. And also uh, what excites me is the use of holograms and the use of display technologies that are showing people their data assets, letting them experience and perceive data in new and exceptional ways. And our technology being patented gives us a, a special place in the world. We're able to walk in and offer someone uh, something that other people can't offer and having a special proprietary solution that solves for so many problems is exciting for me. Daniel, congratulations on all of the recent developments and the future sounds very bright for Data Vault indeed. Thank you very much, appreciate the interview. The story of Data Vault, Nathaniel Bradley's leadership of the company encapsulates the future of AI, its multi-faceted application. We invite you to learn more about Data Vault AI on their website and to follow New to the Street as well so you can keep abreast of all the latest and greatest in new technologies and new business opportunities. Live from the New York Stock Exchange, I'm Janet Alvarez with New to the Street.